The master level zombie sensed Lu Sheng's presence but didn't attack him like the lower level zombies. Fearful of the consequences, as he had never died in the dream before, Lu Sheng decided to avoid it. He continued walking inside the wall until the scene of the city unfolded before him. Observing the city's infrastructure, Lu Sheng pondered the level of technological advancement, suspecting it far surpassed both his current world and his previous life. In his world, martial arts had only developed over the past 300 years, still in its early stages. Historical records indicated that when martial arts first emerged, the most powerful masters were only at the fifth level. However, in the present time, humans had many seventh-level masters, eighth-level grand masters, and even ninth-level martial arts saints. Despite this advanced civilization, they were still succumbing to the onslaught of alien beasts, prompting Lu Sheng to wonder about their own fate. Lu Sheng felt a sudden wave of concern. Despite the advancements in martial arts and the emergence of powerful experts in his world, humanity was still locked in a struggle against alien beasts, facing constant pressure and dwindling living space. However, amidst the bleak reality, Lu Sheng saw an opportunity. He realized that this world's failure didn't necessarily mean his world would meet the same fate. By absorbing memories, techniques, and scientific advancements from this advanced civilization, he could potentially make a difference in his own world's fight against the alien threat. His eyes regained their determination as he shouldered this heavy responsibility. The ruins of this devastated civilization had profoundly impacted Lu Sheng, prompting a shift in his mindset. While the city walls teemed with zombies, most were relatively weak, with only a few advanced monsters lurking within. Lu Sheng stumbled upon a house and entered, only to find it deserted. In the living room, a table stood in the center, adorned with scattered tableware. Lu Sheng couldn't help but imagine the family that once dined there, abruptly interrupted by the apocalypse. A sense of melancholy washed over him, not a single zombie roamed the premises, leading Lu Sheng to speculate that the occupants may have perished due to their frailty, perhaps not even meeting the criteria for zombification. Determined to uncover more about this world, Lu Sheng searched for records. However, the advanced civilization had long forsaken traditional books for more sophisticated means, leaving him empty-handed. Finally, he discovered a palm-sized, lead-gray disc on the desk, less than half a centimeter thick, bearing faint inscriptions. Suddenly, a softy sound resonated, followed by the disc emitting a faint blue light. The once dusty and lifeless room seemed to stir with vitality in the presence of this azure glow. Welcome to use, Tianhang Technology. A gentle female voice emanated from the disc as the blue light coalesced into the form of a female silhouette. It's really working. Lu Sheng exclaimed, excitement coursing through him. But amidst his astonishment, a revelation struck him, he recognized these characters. Parallel world? Or is there some connection between the two? He mused, his eyes gleaming with newfound understanding. Eager to learn more about this world, Lu Sheng addressed the hologram, please, retrieve the latest news information. Connecting to Skynet. The hologram announced before a failure message appeared. Connecting to the civilian database of Base 1359, it continued, this time successfully establishing a connection. The next moment, a vast array of information flashed before Lu Sheng's eyes. As he glanced around, the text enlarged wherever his gaze landed, presenting itself actively before him. On June 21, 11,024 in the military calendar, the number 2 main base successfully launched the 58th batch of life exploration spacecraft, targeting the Lyra galaxy. On July 12, 11,024 in the military calendar, Base 105 fell. On September 24, 11,024 in the military calendar, Admiral Sun Kang was successfully promoted to the 10th level star realm, becoming the 472nd 10th level star realm powerhouse in the history of the World Wushu League. Currently, the Vumang League has a total of 23 10th level star realm powerhouses. On September 30, 11,024 in the martial arts calendar, bases 114, 893, and 1,022 fell, and the World Martial Arts League will hold the 274th Grandmaster meeting at the main base of number 1. All sorts of information bombarded Lu Sheng's senses relentlessly. Tales of 10th level powerhouses, planetary colonization schemes, Grandmaster summits. As anticipated, the martial arts civilization of this world far surpassed that of his own, even delving into the realms of the 10th and 11th levels of martial prowess. Yet, amidst this brilliance, the predominant news that greeted Lu Sheng was the relentless cascade of martial arts-based collapses. The martial arts civilization here shines with unparalleled brilliance, reaching unimaginable heights, Lu Sheng mused, but it faces adversaries of unfathomable ferocity. Even the mightiest of 10th and 11th level martial artists struggle to shield humanity from the relentless onslaught of alien beasts. 
In time, they even resorted to abandoning their home planet, seeking refuge on a new habitable world. Yet, judging from the reports, Lu Sheng's gaze fell, and the once rapid flow of blue light information before him began to decelerate. Until the fall of Base 1359, the exploration vessels launched yielded naught but disappointment upon their return. Lu Sheng lamented for them. Amidst the stark news, he discerned the desperation and grief of a once mighty civilization on the brink of collapse. Halting his perusal of the news, Lu Sheng instructed, retrieve the world's historical records. World historical data retrieval initiated. World data retrieval successful. Hearing at the newly unveiled message, Lu Sheng's eyes widened. In the inaugural year of the martial calendar, the northern expanse of the ancient Eagle Country, the southern reaches of the ancient Lion Country, the eastern territories, and the western dominions of the ancient Dragon Country. Fissured open, disgorging a multitude of beings from disparate realms. Dramatically, Lu Sheng's mind reeled as he absorbed the opening line of world history, feeling as though a weighty hammer had struck his consciousness, leaving it reverberating. Suspecting an error, he leaned in closer, scrutinizing each word intently. In the 34th year of martial arts, the world witnessed the birth of its first inner martial artist in the Galong Kingdom. Simultaneously, the establishment of the World Martial Arts League marked a significant milestone. In the 42nd year of martial arts, the martial arts classification system was instituted, with Mr. Yang Qianhe, a martial arts master from the Galong Kingdom, attaining the prestigious title of the first five-level master in the League. The 104th year of Budo. Lu Sheng sat on the ground, dazed. Known for his composure and inscrutable emotions, his face now betrayed shock and disbelief. Scouring through centuries of historical records, he discovered an unsettling truth, the events, figures, and occurrences mirrored precisely what he had learned in history class. The timelines, historical personages, and significant events, all identical. This world, and the world he had known. They were one and the same. The information he had just absorbed didn't depict the rise and fall of another world's martial arts civilization, but rather, the future of his own world. A future spanning 10,000 years ahead, the year 11,024 of the military calendar signifies the impending doom of the world I currently inhabit, destined to be obliterated in over 10,000 years. Consumed by the suffocating black mist, swallowed by the unrelenting onslaught of alien beasts. Lu Sheng's complexion paled as he struggled to accept this grim revelation. Mere moments ago, he had offered a silent tribute to the downfall of a once mighty civilization. Now, he realized he was mourning the future of his own civilization. It may not be definitive. Perhaps it's merely coincidence, or the workings of a parallel world. Lu Sheng whispered to himself, attempting to pacify his racing thoughts. He yearned for more evidence, more concrete facts to validate his suspicions. Turning his focus inward, Lu Sheng delved deeper into history, scouring for elusive clues buried within the annals of time. Lu Sheng tried learning about his own future first. His biography depicted a malnourished 28-year-old Lu Sheng, with sunken cheeks giving his face a gaunt and hollowed-out appearance. It further stated that he was a civilian who lived until the age of 28 and died a virgin. He had not amounted to anything or achieved anything in life. on Lu Sheng's brow as he responded, Create a user. Please provide a genetic blood sample. It was truly remarkable that Future Technology's optical brain required genetic blood samples for user authentication. Uncertain of its efficacy within the dream realm, Lu Sheng extended his index finger, allowing the hologram to bite it and draw blood. Just as Lu Sheng was beginning to wonder if the system had crashed, the optical brain emitted a crisp beep sound. However, instead of indicating the successful establishment of a new user, it declared. The human gene blood sample has been detected, initiating the Fireseed project. Connecting to number 1359 Fireseed Resource Library. Connection successful. Privileges enabled. In the next moment, a vast amount of information appeared before Lu Sheng's eyes. Name, Lu Sheng. Sex, male. Lifespan, June 297 in Budo, August 334 in Budo Martial Arts Strength, Level 4 Warrior Available Authority, Level 2 at the top of this information was a photo of Lu Sheng himself. In the image, a middle-aged man with a handsome appearance and a resolute face stared back at Lu Sheng. It was a future changed from the day he entered the dream world. Lu Sheng realized that the world could be saved and that there is still some hope left. With this, the chapter concludes. Don't miss out on the next installment. Hit that subscribe button and join us for the continuation of Lu Sheng's remarkable story.